very early this morning, the Holy Spirit of God spoke to me, and he said, look. So I looked, and I saw a garden, the garden of good and evil. And in this garden stood a serpent talking to a woman. And I said, my Lord, I know this. And he said, look again. And I looked again. And in the garden of good and evil lifted up was the serpent's rod. I said, my Lord, I did not see that when I first looked into the garden. He was lifted up above the woman and her husband to reveal his powers of the rod, the serpent's rod of illusions. The serpent's rod, the ancient Pharaoh, the devil that appeared in the garden of good and evil to make himself as a god to Adam and his wife. When he said knowledge, you shall be as gods. The devil is the god of this world. That's what 2 Corinthians 4 and 4 tells us. This ruler of this world, the serpent's rod, was lifted up even in the garden of good and evil to make himself a god to Adam and his wife. The serpent's rod of illusions. The devil knows the power of the dream state. The serpent was lifted up because after all, we know after the fall, he crawled on his belly to eat the dust, which is the serpent's meat, the flesh of mankind. After all, we are dust. At 5 a.m. this morning, this is what the Holy Spirit of God gave to me. The apocalypse. A sea of chaos. And out of this chaos is the realm of the dragon. The fallen ones that gave men advanced technology that will bring about the destruction of the earth and the heavens. The earth divided, filled with blood, water poisoned, not enough oxygen, third of the trees and the green grass burned. Pollution, even the sea, will be destroyed. The apocalypse, when men become beast, humanity lost, lawlessness, the power of the spirit of the Antichrist, ruling and reigning in the kingdom of men, a world of illusions, nations bound in a dream state held under strong delusions. The master magician and the powers of the dragon's mirror, the son of perdition, the false Christ, the dragon, with advanced technology and the serpent's rod will make him a god to the nations by giving him his powers of the serpent's rod of technology. Let me share something that the Holy Spirit of God revealed to me of the digital world and the digital world that will be above earth in the heavens. Star Wars is coming and weapons that you cannot imagine that have a mind, a brain that think for themselves mind control. Wait until the advanced technology of these artificial humans start thinking for themselves. And they will. 
and they won't be thinking good thoughts about us. They will see us as the lower being, that they are superior to us, our gods, as it were. The fallen ones, their plans for earth to create their worlds on earth and even in the heavens. In enough of time, knowledge, technology, once believed to be the savior of the world, in the end it will be the destruction of the world and mankind. The beast powers of advanced technology that will bring about earthquakes, famine, war, pestilence, global warming, the sea, blood. Can you read the writing on the wall? Mankind and lawlessness and advanced technology will lead us to destruction. Advanced technology is a prison without bars, a cold and loveless future. The fallen ones already knew the end of this world because it was the end of theirs. For too much power and pride will bring about destruction. The veil will be lifted. What is the future for mankind? Oh, you can't imagine. Changes will be made in the creation of God. Technology to give powers. I mean superpowers to create a superior superhuman. Bionic. Superheroes? See, you think that's a joke. But it's coming. I have seen the future of mankind. Truly, it is a prison without bars, controlled by the system of the beast and that golden web and the mirrors of the dragon. This advanced technology that will change times and laws, no longer bound by either one, as mankind creates a tear within time. To go beyond the limit the devil possesses this knowledge, for he walks up and down and to and fro between worlds as lightning. His knowledge, with all of his technology, he can't escape. For the doors he opens will only lead him back to where he started. The beginning and the end are one and the same. The apocalypse, chaos, darkness, lawlessness, without order, void, empty, lifeless, desolation. The destroyer is coming. An unknown planet. And man will soon find planets like Earth. Through advanced technology, man will receive a signal and will answer the call and open a door. Are the fallen ones ready to rebuild their true images, rebuild themselves, the shape shifters, those that can transform themselves? The future is the power of the mind. The future of illusions. Your mind and image is the future of technology. It is. I've seen it. I've seen the square within the square and the mirror and the cities of glass. I have seen advanced technology to where you can enter a room. And if I don't like the way the room appears, I, by my mind, I can change that room into any image I want it to be. And it will be real. I can touch it. That's the power of this advanced technology. Your mind 
is the key that opens this new world that's coming. You can change anything into the image that you so desire. This is the power of the mind. It is the power of the imagination. Now you know why the fleshly mind is an enemy against God. It exalts itself above God, above the will of God. The imagination was the fall of those in heaven. If you can imagine, you can have it. That was their fall in the beginning. They used their mind and imagination against God. Even in the garden. They wanted to control their dream. And they believed the tree of knowledge of good and evil would give them the power to control, change their reality. And I tell you that the technology that is coming, and it's real. So you will have power in your dream. The woman in Genesis is asleep. Her eyes are closed. The key is the waking up to open your eyes as we go from one dream state into another. One reality into another. That's the future. That's the future of entertainment. The dream state. The power of the mind. The imagination. That exalts itself above God. The door of the darkened mind. Blinded by the ruler of this world. Mind control. Technology. To replace your memories. A miracle, it starts with good intentions until it goes bad, and it will. Because everything advanced technology is doing will appear to be the savior of this world until in the end you wake up and realize that it is a prison without bars. But by that time, it's too late. It is a system that you cannot make war with. How can you make war with a system that you have depended on? That you live, you're alive, you have your livelihood, you have everything that is connected to this digital world. That is connected to your mind. Do you not understand the danger of the power of the mind, of the imagination? It is dangerous. That's why we don't use all of our mind. Because it's dangerous. The imagination. The mind is powerful. And the enemy knows this. And they are giving mankind technology. Where do you think this technology came from? It came from the fallen ones. And they are bringing about the end. And the beginning and the end are one and the same. It started with chaos, darkness, emptiness, void. And it will end in the same. Because of advanced technology. You cannot imagine the future that is coming. The power of the mind. You won't have televisions. As a matter of fact, the Holy Spirit told me that the, com the computers, the technology that we have now, er the phones, will throw them away. Because it's obsolete. When your mind will do everything. The power of your mind. I'm telling you, I've seen it in visions. The Holy Spirit said that you will never have to move within your home. All you do is think it. 
Power to turn off the light. Power over this room. To change it into any image I want it to have. Artificial humans doing everything for you. You see, that's the power of this technology. They don't want you to think. They don't want you to do anything. They don't want you to work. They don't want you to leave your home. They want to keep you at home. They want you under their control. They want to dream for you. They want to send you your dreams. They want to think for you. They want your mind connected to the system of the beast. Church, every day, through this link, they're going to have power over your thoughts, over your mind. They're, you're not going to be able to live without it, was what the Holy Spirit of God said to me. You don't know how to think. You, you don't know how to think for yourself. You don't know how to do anything. You won't go to school. You won't have jobs. What do they need you for? They don't even need you to produce any children because this system that is coming will have its own artificial womb. It doesn't no longer need you. That's where we're headed. Man creating himself into bionic beings. Superheroes with powers changing themselves, becoming more like beast than man. But that's where we're going, and that's the future. And that's what the Holy Spirit of God allowed me to share with you, please. Do I know more? I don't like the future. Where everything we know will be changed. And you will literally depend on this system of the beast for everything. Your mind will control everything in your home. And living in a dream state, living within a reality, within the power of your mind, and those realities are real. That dream state is real. The Holy Spirit said to me, he said, when you dream now, the dreams are real. Our mind cannot sleep. Our mind is always going from a thought to an imagination to a dream. And that's the world that is coming. The power of the mind. And everything man creates, he creates it to help him. But in the end, he is replacing his own self with this advanced technology. We see advanced technology now that puts so many people out of work. That once that mankind did that job, but now advanced technology has made it so much easier that he doesn't have to do it anymore. You see where this is going, church? That's exactly where it's going. They don't need you to go to school. Why do they need you to go to school whenever you have this link that can bring everything to your mind? Why? read or do anything oh and you can google it my little granddaughter is only six years old and she be talking about goo i said what i said girl you better learn how to read why when you can get it done for you so much easier through this technology what technology we have right now is really really simple by what the Holy Spirit of God has revealed to me in visions, you can't imagine what is coming. But it is the imagination that is coming. The mind and the imagination. And we see all through the Word of God that those fallen ones truly had that advanced technology because they exalted themselves above God. That they made themselves rich because of this advanced technology. And now they're on this earth and they're giving this technology to mankind to create their world, the world that they fell from on this earth. You know how we're gonna have uh, the days of heaven upon the earth? 
Well, that's exactly what they're trying to do, trying to have their days of heaven upon the earth. And their end is going to be our end because they're giving that technology to mankind. And we're going to see through advanced technology the destruction of a third of the sun, the moon, and the stars because of advanced technology. It's not enough that technology is going to destroy a third of this earth, but it's also going to destroy a third of the heavens. And if God did not shorten the days there truly wouldn't be any humans left on this earth. The destruction of mankind is advanced technology. It is not your savior. In the end, it's going to be your destruction by what the Holy Spirit of God revealed to me. And when the Holy Spirit said to me to look and I said to the Holy Spirit after all of this was said and done, I said, I never thought that's what the serpent was doing. That it was the rod of the serpent lifting himself up to make himself a God to Adam and his wife. Hey, remember, we know in the book of Exodus, God said to Moses, that he was going to make Moses a god to Pharaoh. And how was he going to do that? Through advanced technology. The serpent's rod. It was a rod of power and illusion. But remember, just, uh, just think about this. This is how the Holy Spirit was working with me. Think about this. Moses is the Old Testament. We, we can't imagine how many thousands of years back this was. And he has no idea about advanced technology. He just knows that God said to him that that serpent's rod, that power of that rod, is going to make him a god to Pharaoh. When that ancient Pharaoh is the God of this world, God used technology, the serpent's technology, against himself. And he gave the rod to Moses. When Moses held up that rod, the Red Sea was parted. Battles were won when Moses held up his arms. That rod was advanced technology. Now that'll make you think, won't it? Can you imagine the technology that's coming? And that's exactly what the son of perdition, the false Christ, is going to do. Because the devil is going to give him. That's what 2 Thessalonians 2, 9 through 11 tells us. This, this man is coming with all lying signs and wonders. His powers he will receive from the dragon, the devil himself. And we know that Pharaoh and his wise men and his magicians and his sorcerers had a serpent's rod. But it could only bring about the plagues of the rod of Moses. Because God was using that knowledge against them. And ain't that some stuff? Mm. The Holy Spirit is amazing. He really is. But that's what's coming. Remember, those realities... Those illusions were real. And it is technology 
that will make this false Christ a God to the nations. And that serpent was in that garden, lifting himself up. He had the power to enter into a dream state. She's asleep. Her eyes are not open until she eats of the tree. She's in a dream state. She's dreaming. He had power to enter into that dream state that God had them in. To lift himself up, the serpent's rod of illusion. He had to give her an illusion because she said the tree was to be desired. She's asleep. So he had power to open a door within that dream. And remember, the dream is real. You have a dream. And see if you don't feel everything in that dream or feel like you do. The mind is powerful, church. You just don't know how powerful that mind is. Think on these things. And have a blessed and victorious day today. In Jesus Christ, most holy name we pray. And let the church say, Amen and Amen. God bless you, my dear precious friends. Thank you for standing together with me in this amazing gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I love you. I thank God for you. I appreciate you more than words can say. You are always on my heart and in my prayers. Keep me in yours. Have a blessed day, church.